Here's my 1000 watt toaster oven I use for baking in the van. Little Betty Crocker unit, very cheap. However, the thermostat is certainly not calibrated. Well, let me show you guys what I mean. We'll toss in this known good oven thermometer right there. Yes, it's a very small toaster oven. And we'll set it to a very common 350 degrees and set it for 30 minutes, set up a time lapse and see where we end up. So obviously not good. Let's go ahead and it's cooled off completely now. I've set it for 480 degrees and see what this thing's max temperature really is. Another 30 minutes on the clock and another time lapse getting started. Wow, yeah, we are basically 100 degrees off. Unfortunately, to adjust this thermostat, we do have to open the unit up, which first means unplugging it. And old Betty Crocker was feeling a little ambitious and used these goofy Phillips, 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 and then this triangle bit. Now, luckily I've had this ATD bit set for about 15 years now, and it doesn't have a triangle bit, but it does have these tri-wing bits. I believe Nintendo actually used to use these back in the early 2000s. Anyway, one of those does fit in, kind of. We'll see if we can get it taken apart and adjust this thermostat. All right, and an alternative is always, of course, you can just grind these off. Well, not the most fun to take off, but there it is, it's off. And this right here is our thermostat. And it is a bi-metal switch, meaning that once it heats up, you can see these two contacts right here will open and close respectively. There it is. There it goes. So let's adjust it. Being that the set point is much higher than the actual temperature that it's getting up to, we're gonna want to bend this contact towards the back of the unit. So let's just carefully push it towards the back. A little on the top half, a little on the bottom half, and it's possible that be, might be way, way, way too much, but we're gonna test it out, and unfortunately the only way to test it out is to reassemble the entire unit and get it back together. That is because there is no temperature probe inside of the actual oven compartment. It just goes off of the ambient temperature in this side panel here. So we do have to reassemble it, including putting the feed on, otherwise it's gonna melt through my plastic table. Let's go ahead and do that now and retest it. Unit is put back together. Let's go ahead and plug it back in and test this out. Okay, there we go. It's in the right direction, but it's certainly not 350. So it looks like I'll take it apart, bend the contacts a little further apart, and hopefully next time I'll get it. Lots of guessing and checking here, folks, but you get the gist of it. Keep doing this until you get it just right. Or, of course, you can always just cross out the uh, temperatures over here and write in the actual temperatures that it's going to. But other than that, I'm going to end the video here. You don't need to see me keep adjusting this and playing with it. Hopefully it's helpful. Go ahead and drop a like or a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.